Hi, everybody. So today's Monday. That means it's time for family movie night. And we're continuing on Disney Scares Month. We're talking about uh, thrillers and scary movies that Disney has released. And today we're talking about a movie that I'd heard a lot about, but I'd actually never seen until this week. We're talking about the original Escape to Witch Mountain. And this, I thought, with having Witch Mountain in the name would mean that it was on the scary side. That's why I decided to review it for Disney Scares Month. But in actuality, it's really actually not scary at all. There's like some tension uh, because these kids are being chased. Uh, so there's a little bit maybe with that, but there's nothing really like scary in this movie at all. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very engaging. I was involved with the story from the very beginning. And I think a lot of it comes down to the two child actors that they got who were very good, uh, weren't too like precocious. They felt like real kids to me. And they felt like they had a bond uh, as siblings that was believable. So this is not really a scary movie. This is a sci-fi movie. Uh, you have these two orphans who are... Uh, who are left without their foster parents. They're in an orphanage uh, and they have these uh, powers. Uh, the little boy uh, being telekinetic and, and being able to move items and inanimate items. You have the girl, Tia, who is able to talk to animals, uh, is able to also have some telekinetic powers, some other things. And so where do these powers come from? What are they good for? And then Aristotle Bolt, who is a very wealthy man who finds out about these powers, wants to, to take these kids and exploit their powers. And uh, so he, basically most of the plot is him kind of hunting these kids down, being chased by him. And it's very, very uh, well done. And I really liked Eddie Albert as Jason O'Day, who is this kind of bitter, curmudgeonly, uh, old man who doesn't like kids didn't get to have kids uh but the the two kids choose his camper to hide out in and it ends up he finds the kids very endearing and it wins they win over his kind of curmudgeonly heart and uh, that whole plot line was really good and i just liked all the performances i liked the story i felt like it clipped along really nicely i was very engaged and uh i think that it would be a great film to watch for the family and to talk about uh, these kids and uh, they, the fact that, you know, they're in the, like the foster system and, and uh, you know, their, their experiences and, and then also like, you know, these powers and how do we treat people that are different is always a good lesson to talk about with kids. And I, I think that, it's not going to be something that will be, you know, too scary for them. I think they'll really enjoy it, boys and girls, because there's there's uh, one of each, you know, in the kids. And so it's something that will appeal to both, I think, equally. And uh, it's just, I thought it was a very engaging sci-fi film. Very well done. Very good chemistry between the child characters and then the adults and the child characters like i said especially eddie albert i thought he was really good in this role and uh so yeah i really enjoyed escape to witch mountain i haven't seen the sequels or uh, or remakes uh let me know what you think of those if any of them are worth watching uh and if you like this movie i would be really curious to know your thoughts and uh, please uh, like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And make sure you also check out the uh, under wraps videos that we did, that I did, and that Lee from Dum Dums did. I would really appreciate that. And uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Please check out the Patreon. I would really appreciate that. And then also have the merch store, which has tons of fun design. So please take a look at that. And thanks so much, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.